Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel, English by the Gargantuan. In today's video, we are going to be looking at the topic, real and unreal future. In this video, I am going to be teaching you how to answer JAM 2025 English questions, YEG 2025 English questions, etc. on this topic, real and unreal future. Please, if you have not subscribed to this channel, I beg you in God's name, subscribe to it now. After subscribing, make sure you turn on the notification icon so that anytime we post a new video, you will be notified. Also, like and share this video so that others can see it and learn from it. Let us go for a short break for now. When we return, we are going to jump right in. Cracking news of English. This book will make you perform excellently in the English language, also called Use of English. You can get a copy of this book, Cracking Use of English, from the author by calling him or chatting with him on WhatsApp via 090-13-92-9511. I say it again, 090-13-92-9511. What are you waiting for? Go and get your copy now. You are welcome back. Remember, the topic we are looking at in this video is real and unreal future. Let us get started. A real future refers to that which will most likely happen. A real future refers to that which will most likely happen. On the other hand, an unreal future refers to that which we most likely not happen. An unreal future, I say it again, refers to that which we most likely not happen. Questions on real and on real future are usually introduced by prepositional phrases that begin with by plus time. In other words, whenever you are faced with an English question, you look at the question, you find out that it contains a prepositional phrase that begins with by plus time. That question is related to real and unreal future. At that point, take your mind to the topic real and unreal future because that is what the question is related to. You will know that an English question is from the topic real and unreal future if the question contains a prepositional phrase that begins with by plus time. Please note that time here can come as a single word. A single word. For example, January, February, etc. Time here can also come as a phrase. For example, this time next year, the end of this month, etc. Whether time comes as a single word or as a phrase, it doesn't matter. Since the question contains a prepositional phrase that begins with by plus time, then the question is from the topic real and unreal future. At that point, take your mind to the topic real and unreal future because that is what the question is related to. Whenever you are faced with a question on that real and on real future, all you need to do is check what comes immediately after time. All you need to do is check what comes immediately after time. Because it is what comes immediately after time that determines the answer to the question. It is what comes immediately after time that tells you what you should fill the gap provided in the question with. Roman figure one. If what comes immediately after time is the pronoun I, 
or the pronoun we, then the answer to the question is shall. Plus half plus a past participle verb PPT for short. In case you didn't know, PPT stands for past participle. So if what comes immediately after time in the question is the pronoun I or the pronoun WE, the answer to the question is shall plus half plus a past participle verb, PPT for short. If this answer, shall plus half plus a past participle verb, PPT for short, is not found in the options, and you are sure that what comes immediately after time is the pronoun I or the pronoun WE, then look for the option containing will plus half plus a past participle verb, PPT for short. You will look for the option containing will plus have plus a past participle verb, PPT for short, if what comes immediately after time is the pronoun I or the pronoun WE and there is no option containing shall plus have plus a past participle verb, PPT for short. However, if what comes immediately after time is the pronoun I or the pronoun WE and you look at the options, you find out that there is an option containing shall plus have plus a past participle verb, PPT for short, that is the option you are to go by. So this is the original answer and this is an alternative answer. If what comes immediately after time in the question is the pronoun I or the pronoun WE. I believe that is understood. Let us move on. Roma figure 2. If what comes immediately after time in the question is the pronoun he, she, you, they, or it, then the answer to the question is will plus have plus a past participle verb, PPT for short. Please note that for these answers, that is, if what comes immediately after time is the pronoun I or the pronoun WE, or for this answer, that is, if what comes immediately after time is the pronoun he, she, you, they or it, the future is a real future, a real future. I believe that is understood. Roma figure three, if what comes immediately after time in the question is the pronoun I, we, he, she, you, they or it, and you cannot find the answers I gave you in Roma figure 1 and Roma figure 2 in the options, then look for the option containing would plus have plus a past participle verb, PPT for short. You will look for the option containing this if what comes immediately after time is any of these pronouns and you cannot find the answers I gave you in Roma figure 1 and Roma figure 2 in the options. Please note that if you cannot find would plus have plus a past participle very PPT for short, just look for the option containing could or might or should plus have plus a past participle verb PPT for short. You will look for you will look for the option containing could or might or should plus have plus a past participle verb PPT for short 
if you cannot find an option containing would plus have plus a past participle verb ppt for short for these answers just note that the future is an unreal future i believe that is understood in summary anytime you are asked a question on that real and unreal future you first of all have to look for the option containing a real future that is the answers i gave you in roma figure one and roma figure two if you cannot find an option containing any of the answers i gave you in roma figure one and roma figure two that is a real future then you can look for the option containing an unreal future that is these answers but it must first of all be would plus have plus a past participle verb ppt for short it is when you cannot find this one in the options that you are to look for the option containing could or might or should plus have plus a past participle verb ppt for short i know that some of you are still confused let us at this point look at some past questions under this topic that is under real and on real future so that you guys will understand better question one it reads by this time next month i dash here for three years option a shall have been option b would have been option c will be and option d might have been if you look at this question you will find out that it contains a prepositional phrase that begins with by plus time. But time here is a phrase, this time next month. So this question is from real and unreal future. It is from real and unreal future because the question contains a prepositional phrase that begins with by plus time, though. Time here is a phrase. All we need to do is to check what comes immediately after time. What comes immediately after time. And if you look at the question, you will find out that what comes immediately after time is the pronoun I. We have to first of all go for real future. I told you that for real future, if what comes immediately after time is the pronoun I, the answer to the question should be shall plus have plus a past participle verb, PPT for short. So if you look at the options, you will find out that the correct option is option A, shall have been. So that the question reads, by this time next month, I shall have been here for three years. I believe this is understood. Question number two, it reads, by January, she dashed the king. Option A, we be seen. Option B, would have seen. Option C, can be seen. And option D, might see. If you look at this question, you will find out that it contains a prepositional phrase that begins with by plus time. But time here is coming as a single word, January. So this question is from real and unreal future. All we need to do is check what comes immediately after time. And if you look at the question, you will find out that what comes immediately after time is the pronoun she. We first of all have to go for real future. For real future, I told you that if what comes immediately after time is the pronoun she, the answer should be will plus have plus past participle, PPT for short. That is, will have seen, will have seen, will plus have plus past participle verb, PPT for short, will have seen. But if you look at the options, you will find out that no option contains will have seen. What we have in option A is will be seen. But what we are looking for is will have seen. It means that there is no real future 
in the options. Since there is no real future in the options, we have to go for unreal future. For unreal future, I told you that the answer should be would plus have plus past participle verb, PPT for short. That is would have seen, would have seen. So if you look at the options, you will find out that the correct option is option B, would have seen. So that the question reads, by January, she would have seen the king. I believe this is understood.